Hi, everybody. Hello, hello. I hope you're uh, ready to help me tour the world and hopefully <laughs> figure out what country we're in. Uh, let me just do a little check here to make sure everything is going. I think it is. And let me just do one other little check here. I think we are ready to get started. I'm just looking at the chat. Cecilia Romeo says, let's do it. Mode Egg says, hi, Mr. Bob. And Nina says, why so few people? Well, one of the reasons, Nina, is this is on my second channel, not my main channel. So we get a bit of a smaller group, which is fine with me. Um, it's a little more... Uh, yeah, it's a little easier to have conversations with people in the chat. Um, I do want to say hi to a bunch of people. I see that Sita is here. Cecilia is here. Brent from American English with this guy. Val Val, if he's still awake. Nina Maria C. Good thing Maria C is here. Uh, Maria helped us quite a bit last week. Mode Eggs, of course, is here. Alexis. Uh, and we are, as far as I can tell, ready to go. Um, I see Alexis saying, hey, B, in the chat. So... What are we doing? We are playing GeoGuessr. This is a game where you get to kind of drive around using Street View on Google Maps, and then you have to figure out what country you're in. So you can see as we drive around in this city and have a look around, um, this is definitely a place where they speak English. So by the way, Oreo cookies are yummy. This is actually an ice cream sandwich. It's not actually an Oreo cookie. I think these are Oreo cookies, but this is an ice cream sandwich. Um, I see Abraham saying, Bonjour, bonjour à toi aussi, Abraham. Nina says, I'll see, but I'll share your channel. Thank you, Nina, very much. So we're looking around. I think I already know what country we're in. Uh, I see Maria C saying, we're in Ireland. Um, you can see, first of all, the first hint was, we have a flag up here. Uh, the second hint was, this is the Bank of Ireland, so we have a bank there. Um, I just want to say a few things, though, before we actually guess this one. Um, one is this is called a sandwich board uh, or an A-frame sign. Um, we call it a sandwich board, but usually a sandwich board is something you wear. Um, and this looks like a carryout, which we don't have in Canada, but I think they sell wine and beer and different alcoholic beverages. There's Heineken, one of the most popular beers in the world. And of course, our American beer, Coors Light, down here. We don't have carryouts in Ontario. We actually have special stores um, where you buy things. Here is the corner bar, which probably is also called a pub. Um, and then we do see this sign. I see in the chat, uh, Mahmoud is saying, Aleppo is where I'm from. I'm going to assume this is a restaurant that specializes in food from Aleppo. But I'm, I'm assuming that this restaurant is in Ireland. So are we safe? To guess Ireland, everybody, do you think we should guess? Hi, Eduardo. Good to see you. Um, I think I'm going to guess Ireland, although I probably should teach just a little bit more English before we click. There's a lot of storefronts or shops along this way. Sometimes people ask the difference between a store or shop. I would probably call these shops, okay? This actually says barber shop, um, but you could equally refer to them as a store. Um, and then here we see that we're in Ireland as well when we look at that. So this place sells pizza. Interesting. Apache is not an Irish name. It's actually uh, from a North American tribe. Okay, let's guess Ireland. Yes? Should we guess? Should we get this streak rolling? Should we guess Ireland? Everybody in the chat, let me know. Maria says we're in Ireland. Um, Cecilia Rome says we're in Ireland. And then Carlos says, hello. Hello, Carlos. Let's guess. Let's guess. First one down, everybody. We are done with our first one. We got it. And now, of course, we are going to be somewhere very remote. So my first guess is that we're like in the southern United States, southwest. Maybe somewhere like Arizona. Or we could be in somewhere in South America. Um... Let's see here. Um, let's see here. We have a large factory on the horizon. We do have some street signs down here. We should see if we can get down 
Let's see if we can get down there and read those street signs. We might not be able to drive down this road. Oh, we missed the sign. Saldana or terminal. So we have English, but we have a Spanish sounding name there. Let's go down here. So a terminal could mean a place where they load trains or ships. Don't feel like we're close to an ocean though. Um, that's for, yeah, let's see. Um, seems like they're driving on the left, says Zhao Huan. Um, Daniel says, hi, Bob, why are we here so late? Um, I think we're just going to do this on a Sunday night usually. Uh, let's see here. Um, Izam from uh, Indonesia, good to see. Um, and Eduardo, they drive on the left side. The lines on the road don't quite look American. No. Oh, Vandenburg and Veldrif. So are we now in Europe somewhere? Because this does not... I've never been to Europe. Let's ask this guy. <laughs> Sorry. It's a GeoGuessr joke. Let's ask this guy where we are. I'm wondering if we are... Okay. Someone's probably Googling this now. The Langebahn. Why do I feel like we might be... Look at the size of these things, eh? Just these huge factories. Okay, let's go down the road this way. Let's see. I see Maria say, C saying she thinks it might be South Africa. South Africa from Amina. Uh, Abraham says Australia. It certainly looks like Australia or South Africa. I think you guys uh, are pretty pretty close in your guess there. Should we guess South Africa? We have a couple people saying South Africa. Um, and we do have people driving. I don't know though. I think they're driving. Okay, here's a store or something up here. Maybe we can get some more information. DHL. A few trucks here. Oh, let's see if we can look at the side of this truck. Okay, I think we should guess South Africa. I think that's what we should guess. Just, uh, just a wild hunch on my part. I have been to South Africa, by the way. Um, but that doesn't mean I know what country we're in. Um, sure, says Brent. Let's guess South Africa. Let's get... Let's get a pin on there and guess. We were right. Excellent. So when I look back, I see Maria C and Amina were both saying South Africa. You were correct. Uh, we got two. Bar Official says, hi, Bob. Hi, Bar Official. Uh, Carlos says, South Africa, big railroad. Yeah, there definitely was a big railroad there, wasn't there? Okay. We have some graffiti on the wall here. I think this kid, does this kid have a skateboard? No, it looks like he has like some little bike. Not sure what that is. Oh, we have some nice trees planted here. These people definitely look like they're university students. They're just sitting without a care in the world on a bench. <laughs> That's my view of university students. They just don't have a care in the world and they sit on benches. Um, I think we have what we would call a skate park down here. So in Canada, we would call this a skate park. I think in the United States, you would call this a skate park as well. So people come with their skateboards. You see this little guy with a skateboard. Um, skateboard. People come with rollerblades as well. Rollerblades are like skates, but they have wheels instead of blades on them. Um, Etni's Mystery. I think this, this is definitely English. A um, bunch of kids hanging out. You want to know the verb uh, to hang out? They are definitely hanging out. So... Yeah, Brent's saying on the last one, I think it was South Africa. It almost looked Dutch, but probably Afrikaans. I think so too. So let me just check something here. I'm just going to do an audio check for a sec, everybody. Yeah, okay, good, good, good. I think I set my delay. I need to make sure next time we play, I set my delay to be a little quicker so that the chat keeps up. A little faster. That's okay though. Oh, we might have a sign here. I think I went too far past it. 
It says area restricted data. Are we in Mexico? We could be in Mexico. That's possible. Although, honestly, we haven't really had a lot of stuff to describe it. There's a big building here, but it looks kind of like a tent to me. Tent is a building made out of fabric. I wanted to get a little closer to this sign. Santiago. Oh, interesting. So this is the, uh, it's a pool, I think. It's an indoor pool and it's in Santiago. Somebody tell me what country we're in. I don't want to say it out loud, but I have a funny feeling that you might be able to guess now what country we're in. I'll drive this way a little bit down this little, it, it looks like this street is closed to traffic because everyone's just walking on it, but perhaps there just isn't very much traffic. So Carlos is saying Chile, and I think that's where we are. I think that's definitely, when I saw the, uh, the pool, it said Santiago. Uh, Abraham is saying Chile. Eduardo is saying Chile. Uh, Amina is saying Chile. Uh, let's guess Chile, everybody. Let's guess that we are in Chile and go from there. Just give me one sec, though. I'm going to just see if I can change something here. Um... When you go live, you can change the delay. I'm not sure if I can change that while we're playing. No, I can't. Okay, that's no problem. We won't worry about it too much. But you guys are saying we should guess Chile. Let's go and find Chile and guess. Everybody's good with that. I see everyone in the chat is saying Chile. So that is correct. So I'm saying Chile. Most English speakers say Chile. They just say Chile. It's not a very good pronunciation. Uh, but that is where we were. I'm not sure exactly where. Somewhere around here. Santiago, Chile. So there we go. That's three. We're doing good, everybody. I'm not teaching a lot of English, though. Uh, let me make sure in the next one I teach a lot of English. So we can start by looking at this sign, which makes me feel like we're in Poland, possibly. We are driving on the right side of the road. There's lots of traffic, actually, even though we're out in the country. Um, Carlos says, awesome, and a bunch of people. How many people said Chile? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine or ten people said Chile. Very cool. Oh, here we have a guy on a motorcycle. He's wearing his motorcycle helmet. He's driving a nice BMW motorcycle. Um, let's see if we can turn around and look at this sign here. Oh. Basically, it just says, don't drive into this tree. That's what I think that sign means. We have a little wheat field here. So we're beside a farm. Wales and Poland. So Abraham says Wales. Maria C says Poland. That was my first guess. Although there is a windmill here. Attract jobs. Dot PL. So I think, I think we're in Poland. Maria C is saying Poland. We are off to a good start, everybody. Let me talk a little bit about what I see around us right now. We looks, it looks like we have a farm here. We have like a trailer. This is actually a manure spreader. This is probably a manure spreader as well. So we have a farm here with some grain silos or some grain bins. And it looks like way in the distance, we have some bales and a wagon. But uh, yeah, pretty sure we're in Poland. I see... Um, L saying hi. Hi, L Eunice. Uh, Michael Jr. and Carlos. Carlos is saying Poland as well. I think that's probably a good guess to say we're in Poland. What a helpful sign. Yes, Brent, that was definitely a helpful sign for sure. Before we guess though, look at this. This is a well-kept yard. This is a very tidy yard. Some nice uh, flowering bushes here. They have a patio umbrella and it's down. They have some potted plants, an outdoor pizza oven or stove, it looks like. Um, Val Val says, I worked in Poland. Very cool. And Unsel says, hi, Bob and everyone. Hello. Oh, there's a trampoline back here. And this is a swing set or a swing. Probably a little hard to see, but there's a swing there. Okay, we're going to guess Poland. Let me get my map out here and let's go into Poland. We're hoping we're right. Ma Mahmoud is saying Poland as well. Well, there we go. We have a streak of four. Whew. 
I didn't think we would start with a streak. Well, yeah, so the streak's probably going to be over now. Wow. Well, if I wanted to teach English here, there's not a lot to teach. Um, recent downpour, maybe. There's a little bit of water on the road. It looks like it rained recently, although it looks quite dry out here. Very, very dry area. Um, not sure what direction we should go. Let me drive this way, and while I'm driving, I'll explain to the 66 people watching uh, what we're doing. We are playing GeoGuessr. Uh, I'm Bob the Canadian. I teach English here on YouTube. I have a couple of YouTube channels. One is called Learn English with Bob the Canadian. That would be my bigger channel or main channel. Uh, and this channel is called Bob's Short English Lessons. Um, they're both a little different, but the main idea for both channels is to teach some English. Um, let's see here. Carlos is saying north of Brazil, somewhere in Africa. Eduardo says, looks like Africa. Road is in construction, says Carlos. Looks like Brazil. A lot of people saying it looks like Brazil. Now, Brazil grows a lot of soybeans, and there's a lot of fields around here that could be growing. This could be Australia, too, you know. Have we even seen a car yet? <laughs> yeah, Mode Ag says, I can teach the phrase in the middle of nowhere. We are in the middle of nowhere. Uh, as you can see, there is nothing around us. We haven't even found a sign. Okay, we're going to have to guess. We're going to have to guess Brazil uh, or Australia. You know, I thought at this point we would have found some sort of town or house or village or a street sign. Oh, I think we just went by a street sign. But I think all the street sign says is... Um, yes, basically it tells you not to go too fast around the corner. I think it says 80. Can't even tell if it says miles or kilometers per hour. I might say 50 kilometers an hour. Okay. Um, give me some ideas, everyone. There's 77 of you watching. Tell me if we are... See, if it was Australia, would the road turn? Or would it just be straight the whole time? That's a ute if I've ever seen one. Do you think we're in, I think we're in Australia. A ute is um, like a utility vehicle. I think in Australia they call them a ute. We're going to guess Australia. Is that okay with everybody? Mode Egg says, I don't think it's Australia. Sign on the left. He is driving on the left side of the road. Okay, let's go a little further. You guys give me a few more ideas in the chat about where you think we are. I'm ready to guess Australia. I really am. I don't know what else to say. It's not Brazil, says Dago. So, okay, we know that. Okay, I'm going with Australia, everybody. We're guessing it. Oh, good, we got it. Okay, good, we got five. <laughs> oh, okay. Now, Cedric was saying Africa. Could have been Africa. Oh, here's a sign for us to start the next one. Um, Farida says, yes. Um, Brent says, I have no clue. Yeah, honestly, Brent, all I had to go on was that ute that I saw. Okay, let's see here. So what do we have? We have a sign that makes me think I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> it doesn't make me think anything. Um, we have another sign here that's blurred out, so we can't read it. Let's go down and read this sign. Okay, we might be... Yeah, thanks, Brent. I, I, it was really just a guess. Okay, we have a truck here. I thought we might be... I thought I knew where we were, but I was, I'm totally wrong. So this, we call this a bobcat or a skid steer. It's a small little um, machine that you use to move dirt or stone. Um, and it usually has four wheels or tracks on it. We would call this a bobcat or skid steer. Carlos says Lithuania. For justice says Russia. Yeah, we'll have to, let's drive a little further, everybody. Cars a little bit in the 
distance. So we have what is probably a farm. I said probably. We don't usually say it. We usually say probably. And we have this guy. He's just pulled in. This kid's like wandering around the farmyard. Doesn't know what to do. Hungary or Lithuania are the two guesses so far. The Balkans, Lithuania. Some nice lilies going here. Some orange lilies. Um, Bosnia. We're getting a lot of guesses here. There's a couple folks sitting out on the porch for the night, maybe. Looks like the neighbor just came over to say hi. He's got his rubber boots on. Uh, he's carrying a, probably a beer. Probably he came over to say hi and have a beer. That's my guess. Um, a little house here. Looks like a vegetable garden over there. None of which helps us figure out where we are. But does give us... Mahe says, wow, you guys are playing a video game. Are you finished your English lesson homework? <laughs> this is an English lesson. This is what we're doing. Um, because of that S cam, only Lithuania. Interesting. We have a satellite dish here on the side of the house. Um, got some people parked in their, the behind their house there. Should we try Lithuania? Amina says Lithuania. Um... We don't have a lot of signs to look at, do we? Big fields, though. And here's a house that's under construction. So somebody's building a house here. It's under construction. Okay, Lithuania. You guys are guessing Lithuania. Now I have to find Lithuania. You guys might have to help me here. Because I... There we go. We're going to guess. I'm just going to guess. That's correct. Thank you. We got six. How did we get that? That was incredible. Because that was not me. Um, we did not get that one right because of me, okay? That was all you guys in the chat. Thanks to Val Val and uh, Amina. Um, and I think Val Val was saying Lithuania over and over again. Lithuania or Latvia. Okay. I think we are in Britain. And I'm going to say we're in Britain because the soil looks like it has lots of rocks in it. This looks like a flint field. My farmer instinct says we're in Britain, but... Who knows? Let's go for a drive. Let's see if we can find anything that will help us. Um, Frida says, good guess. Well, it was an informed guess based on people in the chat helping me. Um, for Justice says, good job. Eduardo says, are you kidding? Uh, definitely pre-COVID because nobody can afford lumber now. Yeah, people are making a lot of jokes in Canada about the price of wood or lumber. It has really gone up. The price of wood to build things is very, very high. Okay, so we know we're not in Canada or the United States because we do not have signs like this. We are in Froxfield, wherever that is. Remember I said I thought we were in England or Britain? Do you guys believe that I'm going to identify where we are just on what the soil looked like? <laughs> Sorry. I watch... Um, I watch a YouTuber, the YouTube channel is called It's a Farming Life for Me. Um, and Simon, the guy who runs that channel, it's just very interesting to me. He's just always out in his tractor uh, working in his field. So, but I don't know. I'm not confident yet that we're in England. Broxfield, Brendan Air home. This might be an old age home or a retirement home or a retirement villa. This is where older people would go to live um, when they don't want to live on their own anymore or they can't. Uh, I see Amina saying United Kingdom, UK, England, England. I think you're right. I think, and I'm gonna, if it's right, am I celebrating too soon? Let, let's see if it's England before I celebrate too soon. But I would say the nature of the roads, the bricks and the walls and all of that, and again, the soil. Mode eggs says that's another sign. I might have missed one, Mode eggs. Sorry. The number plate. I don't know if that's the proper way to say it. Yeah, we would say license plate, Samuel. Um, so we're at an intersection here. 
And it's between Hungerford and Marlborough. I'm going to guess England, everybody. I'm going to guess that we are in the United Kingdom, that we are somewhere there. And I'm going to guess, there we go. Now, I do want it to go on record that my first guess, based on the soil, <laughs> based on how the field looked, was that we were in England. This is America, if I've ever seen America. <laughs> Sorry, Brent, if I'm saying the name of your country in a fu funny way. Sometimes Canadians say the States, sometimes we say America, and sometimes we say America, which is kind of a way, it's not a very nice way to say it. So I'm apologizing to Brent for, because it's the way Canadians say America when we want to kind of make fun of America a little bit. Let's see. A sign in English that says auto accident called the Stanley Law Group from Columbia, South Carolina. <laughs> and there was, if you're unfamiliar with the United States, there was a Walgreens. So we, we I, I'm going to say, and I think there's a Denny's down here. I'm pretty sure. Nope. I think it's a Bojangles. Okay. Good enough. We are in the United States. There's a CVS pharmacy which is probably where Brent got his COVID shot. If Brent's still around, he's probably laughing at me. Okay, who wants to guess United States? Yeah, the soil whisperer. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's me. Anyways, for those of you that want to learn some English here, we have an intersection here. This is actually a hearse. This type of vehicle is what you use when you bring a coffin with someone who's passed away in to a uh, cemetery, okay? So there's probably a funeral procession. This is a hearse. That's the kind of car we would call it. And it's on its way probably to, so that's kind of sad. That's a sad thing uh, to see. But when you learn a language, you have to learn everything. Um, we have a gas station on the corner, Marathon. Um, Brent says, we say America too. We make fun of ourselves and George W. Bush. Yes. Um, so we have what's called a four lane road. Um, this is not really a fast food restaurant. It's kind of in between, I think. It's kind of, kind of fast food, kind of sit down food, but uh, we are definitely in the United States. So not a lot else to teach you here. Um, let's just guess and move on to the next one. It was fun to have a little tour of the United States. Um, let's see here. Correct, we got eight. And now, after two that I thought were relatively straightforward, we are now, I don't know where. Let's see. Um, let's see here. Uber for people that pass out. Yeah, maybe. Bojangles has great biscuits. I've never been to a Bojangles. Um, I have been to... Most of the restaurants in the United States eventually make their way to Canada. So if a restaurant in the United States is doing well and they're making money, then eventually that restaurant comes to Canada. So we recently got, we didn't used to have Popeye's restaurant, but now we have Popeye's. A long time ago, we didn't have Denny's, but then eventually we got Denny's. Um, break a leg, says Mode Eggs. Okay, we are somewhere on the back roads of a country somewhere that's <laughs> that's pretty vague <laughs> so uh someone's saying greece um maria c says i went to a walgreens in san francisco very cool i have not been to san francisco but it is on my list of places to visit after france of course um when I do eventually get to travel again. Okay, we got a sign here. So Centre de Salud. Maybe this helps some of you. Some people are saying maybe Peru, Peru. Virginia Ramos says Peru. Samuel Orsorio says South America, maybe Peru. Uh, Amina says Peru. Is this another sign here? Yeah, it's too far away to read though. But you can see they have a nice gate. So they've built a fence out of brick. Um, yeah, is Bojangles more of a southern thing, Brent? I'll have to go to the south again. Peru, Peru, Peru. I see a lot of people saying Peru. 
I don't know a lot about Peru, but I know where it is on the map. And I know it's in South America. And I know that we have a sign here that says, oh, this is gonna give us a lot of information. But I think we are probably in Peru. Someone will tell me in a sec. Maria says, C says, my uncle lives in San Francisco. Very cool. Okay, let's go for Peru, everybody. Let's see. Here we go. There we go. So we got nine. I think of those nine, I'll take credit for one of them, at least. Um, we'll go with that. So we have a protest sign here. There's graffiti that says migration equals invasion. So we must be on a border that is somewhat uh, contested. Um, so we might be able to figure out where we are in the world because of that. How do I f Are we in France? Yeah, I think we're in France, aren't we? Brent says, my school district paid for me to go to San Francisco for a conference. Hey, Brent, that would be, um, we need to figure out when COVID's over, how to convince our schools to send us to the same conference. There's got to be like a conference on some sort of teaching via video or something like that. So somehow where we can um, justify having our schools send us to the same place. Um, so here we have the metro or the subway cars. We have train tracks. We're pretty sure we're in France because we saw some pretty straightforward signs there. I did want to... I did want to get closer though to the center. I don't think we're going to be able to. Let's take a little drive down this highway. Um, let's see what else we can see. I feel like we're definitely on the outskirts. Let's follow the signs. Oh, the weather just changed. All of a sudden it's overcast. <laughs> Notice it was sunny and then now it's overcast. This is how, why I would get lost in Paris because I, I already don't know where I'm going. There's so many roads. Oh, it's sunny again. What does this say? Charles de Gaulle Airport is that way and then Paris is actually that way. I didn't want to pull that map up. Just give me a second here. Clicking too many things. Let's keep going this way. Anuar says France. Bar says K. Carlos says a lot of cars brand Renault and Peugeot. Yes, good sign that we're in France. Um, San Francisco is really expensive. Mahmoud says France. Carlos says France. Oh, did I just go the wrong way? Just drove off the road. I took, I took, I took the wrong exit. Don't ever go on a trip with me because we'll get lost <laughs> for sure. Um, so I hope I'm not making any of you sick to your stomach while you watch this. Okay, I'm just going to guess that we're in France. I wanted to get closer to the downtown of France. Maybe we could see L'Arc de Triomphe or the La Tour Eiffel, but we're just gonna guess France and move on to the next country. Uh, they, there we go. Where were we exactly? Oh, we, yeah. So we were right very, very close. I just had a little ways to go. Oh, well, next time maybe. Okay. Ooh, we're in the middle of a city. This should help us. Um, really nice three-story building here. Uh, it looks like there's a small business here. We got some signage. It says .at, so we're probably... I'll let you guys type it in the chat. It's kind of German sounding and the, the website ends with .at. So I think we're not in Germany, but um, we're definitely in one of the German speaking countries. Um, we have a little smart car here, um, a little shop called Sylvie's, um, some kind of repair van. By the way, in Canada, Almost every person who repairs things drives a white van. It's like the most common color van to drive. Um, this probably means like school crossing. This is a school crossing. Got some nice balconies here. You can see the chimneys up top. If you watch my lesson on fire, 
Let's see here. Moat says, I feel like riding a roller coaster when you move a lot. Yeah, I'll try to slow down a bit, Moat. <laughs> it's a little too fast. Samuel says, Austria. I think we're definitely in Austria. This lady's got a little scooter wearing a backpack. Um, let's get out into the middle of this street. This is probably like a corner store or a tobacco is probably tobacco. This is probably like a smoke shop. Um, this guy's like right in the middle of the street. Uh, drive whatever you want. Uh, we have a bus stop here, but they might actually be waiting for the train or the streetcar, I mean, because you can see the tracks and the overhead wires. Um, they're having a little sidewalk sale here. In Canada, when you sell things outside the front of your store, we sometimes call it a sidewalk sale. Okay, I'm pretty sure this guy got nothing to do today. He's just going to hang around in the store, in the door front here. He's, oh, by the way, this is called scaffolding. So when they can do construction on a building or when they're fixing a building, you know, all of these pipes and these boards, we would call that scaffolding. Scaffolding so the workers can climb up uh, and look at stuff. Okay, well, we had a little tour of uh, Austria. I'm pretty sure that's where we are. I think, oh, wait a sec. There's some yummy looking food over here. I want to get closer to this. Pizza, kebab, schnitzel. You can get everything here, people. Any kind of food you want, you can get it at that little spot. Okay, let's guess Austria. Um, let me find Austria for a sec. And we got it. So we got 11. Now, I do realize that we're using more than my brain to get all of these. This is a uh, group effort. In fact, uh, I know some of you are probably using the internet to look for things. That's fine as well. Oh, I, was, I thought this was some guy standing out in the middle of the bush. Okay, so we're on, in Canada, we would call this a logging road, okay? A road that they use to go out into the forest to cut down trees. So there is a possibility that we're in Canada. You can see that there were trees here and they've all been cut down, maybe for firewood. Okay, we do not have signs like that in Canada though. Um, the way Mode Eggs is writing it, Edward, scaffold or scaffolding, okay? So that's, Mode Eggs has the right spelling. Um, definitely, that's how it's written. Scaffolding. Um, like he was up, you can use both words. Like he was up on the scaffolding. He was up on the scaffold. Um, let me see here. Someone's saying Russia. Someone's saying Finland. Maria C says, we haven't been in Canada yet in this game. You know, I was in Canada once when I was playing on my own, but I think, I think this is the fourth week we're playing. I don't think we've been in Canada yet. Val Val is saying Finland. Samuel is saying a Scandinavian country. I think you're right. I think we're somewhere that's going to look similar to Canada. We're probably in, we could, it could be Russia. It could be Finland. It could be Norway any of the northern countries. Samuel, probably Finland. We do have a little house here out in the country, out in the woods. That's kind of cool. I might guess Finland. We did have one sign and some people might have looked up where that town was. I'm just trying to get out of the forest right now. I'm trying to see if I can find my way out. Go this way a little bit. Oh, starting to see a little more. Now there's this guy. He just was going for a walk, and now he's on Google Maps. By the way, I'll tell you a story once. My mom was mowing her lawn, and the van went by from Google, and she ended up on Google Maps for a couple years, pushing her lawnmower, and she, she wanted me to write them a letter to tell them to take it down. I just kind of laughed at her. You couldn't tell it was her. Finland. Finland. <laughs> Brett's making a joke. He only remembers being in the U.S. once. So, Okay, what makes you think it's Finland, everybody? I see Cecilia saying Finland. Maybe from that one street sign. Um, 
So in Canada, we call these townhouses. I'm not sure what they're called in other English-speaking countries, but each one of these is a separate house. This is probably one house, and this is another house, and this is an, we would call them townhouses. I think in Britain they might call it row housing, but in Canada we would say that when you live in a house that's attached to other houses, we say uh, that it's a townhouse. A parking sign here that says Matrian 8. I don't know what this means. Valval says Sweden, likely Sweden. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like we have to guess. We don't have anything to look at, really. So. Um, oh, Brent saying he remember. Oh, oh, I see. Playing the game, you remember. I thought you were making a joke, like, because you're in America, you've only ever been in America. Um, Finland, 100%. Yeah, let's just guess Finland. Let, we're gonna guess Finland. We're gonna we're gonna guess Finland because it, yes, we got it. Go. Samuel says, "Yeah, that's Finnish." Thanks. Awesome. Um, hey, as we start the next um, country, here's something to read that might help you a lot. Uh, just an explanation of what we're doing. Um, we're playing GeoGuessr and also trying to learn some English. Although I'm Bob the Canadian, I sometimes forget to, to teach any English. But I'll try to remember to teach more. This we would call a recycle bin. Um, these we would not call excavators. So in the past we've called, we've seen things that are used for digging. We would call these backhoes. Okay, so in Canada, we would call this a backhoe. It has a loader on the front and it has an arm on the back to dig with. And we would call that a backhoe, probably a dump truck here. Um, let's see here. Birkin says Estonia. Maria C says Hungary. So we have two guesses so far. Um, we have a yield sign here. Definitely. Oh, we might have a little market or a little fruit stand here. So what do we have here? Again, I haven't learned my alphabets, but this might help some of you identify where we're at. Amina says, yes, Hungary. Olympia says, not Brazil. No, it's definitely not Brazil. They need a new canopy though, don't they? Look at this. It got all torn. They need a new canopy. Maybe... Uh, Maybe they had a windstorm or something and the canopy got torn. But uh, you can see it looks like they're selling apples. It looks like they're selling maybe potatoes. I'm not sure if these are oranges, some squash. These look like cauliflower. Um, Samuel says Hungary. Hiroki says Hungary. Birkin says no, not Hungary. <laughs> Carlos says Hungary. Well, it's definitely, I would say, a cute little town. I like the fences and I like the tiled roofs on the houses. Um, here's a street, one street sign. Oh, we have a little sign here. Let's, uh, looks like if we go that way, we can get coffee. So, anybody need a coffee? We can go down that road and that goes squash. Yeah, Modag, squash is, it's something that's very popular in Canada. Um, and it's definitely fall in this area, right? You see all the leaves on the ground? So the leaves are starting to fall. So it's definitely a country that has f probably four distinct seasons. Um, probably gets winter. So Fergan says... Modag says, the country where they sell apples and squash. That's where we are. Okay, let's... Uh, so Samuel is saying... Let me see what Samuel's saying here. Alka means street. Um, and Samuel says Hungary. So Val saying Hungary, Val Val saying Hungary. Let's, uh, let's, take, let's take a guess on Hungary. There we go. We got 13. 
one more and we tie the streak. So if we're careful. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, you know, um, what do you say? Like this is, so we have a Jeep and I can't quite see what kind of vehicle this is. The license plate actually makes me think we're in the United States. The thing with the United States is um, like you could have any kind of climate, right? Like the difference between Northern California and Southern California even is a completely different look. Uh, we do have pickup trucks though. Um, Olympio saying Canada. Um, you know, there aren't many places that look like this in Canada. Maybe like out in Saskatchewan. Canada's not super dry. Canada's quite green. Um, let's see here. Amina's saying United States. Yeah, it could be. Nevada. Yeah, Farida, I think we're somewhere dry like that like arizona nevada those types of places possibly cyrus says usa Rhea says um oh you guys are talking about got it seinfeld oh i think we have a sign coming up here there's a billboard or a street sign in the distance let's get a little closer modag says this is becoming nerve-wracking well, we can't break the streak every week, right, Mode? We need to. Okay. We are not reading an English sign. So I'm going to guess we're probably in Mexico. That would, that's my guess. And I'm basing that guess on a couple things. Yeah. Th this could be Mexico. It could very much be Mexico. Eduardo says Texas. Although, generally, signs in the United States are in English. And if they are in Spanish, they usually have both. Yeah, Brent, I'm going to drive a bit more. You guys let me know what you thought of that uh, sign. Amina says, looks like New Mexico. Definitely looks like, like I'm guessing we're somewhere here. <laughs> oh, you guys think we might be south. Oh, we might be in South America. Patagonia, Chile, Argentina. Chile. So you're, some of you are thinking that we're maybe in this area, either through the drier parts of Argentina or Chile or Peru. Argentina, Argentina, Chile. Getting so many. <laughs> Rina says Albuquerque. I don't think we're in New Mexico. I'm going to drive for a while. I don't want to mess this one up. We have a streak. Of 13. There was a large bus. Chevalier. Let's, let's see if we can drive a little closer to this. Maybe we can ask this bus driver where we are. Espresso Nueva Chevalier SA. I think we're in South America somewhere. That's my... We're somewhere in South America. Maria says Argentina. Samuel says Argentina. Joyce says, never visited this country. Well, this country, there's not a whole lot to look at. I'm sure the people on the tour bus are wondering. Um, well, maybe you do like this. Argentina. Let's try Argentina. We got it. Okay. I did that really quick. I wasn't sure if we were ready. Um, but it is. Looks like it is in this area of Argentina. Um, by the way, one of the things you can use to guess a little bit uh, is the color of the map. 
So remember I was saying, I thought we were in this area because it was very dry and that Canada is very green. Like this is really the only area of Canada that's a bit dry, but this is still a fairly green area. So, okay, that means that we are one away. If we get this one, we're gonna take our time. If we get this one, we'll have, we will have broken the streak. So we gotta be careful here. So we're in meters. So that's the first clue. We're in a country that uses meters. We have a cornfield here. I think these might be poppies actually growing in the ditch, which doesn't help us a lot because poppies grow in a lot of places. Let's see if we can find a language up ahead. So they do drive on the right side of the road. You can see that. I think we might be seeing a tractor up here as well. And here's our first street sign. <laughs> well, if you turn left here, you can get to Budapest. I'm, I'm hoping that doesn't mean we're in a country be, beside the country I'm thinking of. I'll let you guys take some guesses in the, uh, in the chat. And there's a John Deere tractor with a trailer filled with something. And here's a farmer. Um, but uh, Samuel says we're in Hungary. Val says Poland. Birkin says Hungary. I, I think we're in Hungary, by the way. I think that is where we are. Ansel is saying Hungary. Um, here's a place where we can stop and get some gas. Looks like you can go in here and get a little bit of food too if you want. Um, we can't drive in here, but we can zoom in a little bit. Yes, everybody, I think we are in Hungary. I think we're gonna take the guests. Um, I haven't taught a lot of English, but we should guess Hungary. Let's get to the middle, there we go. There we go, there we go. Congratulations, you have received a new badge. A clean sweep, 15 countries in a row, unstoppable. Now, <laughs> we're breaking the streak every week, um, but normally I'm only going to play for an hour. So if we keep breaking the streak, eventually, does that mean I have to play for longer than an hour? Okay, so we have some manhole covers. And there's a grate here for letting water into the city's drainage system. This is probably a pharmacy, a place where you can get um, medicine. We have an air conditioning unit up here, balcony here, um, nice street light here, kind of an older style. This is kind of a cool little place to sit. We would call this like a, like a mini park. I call it a parquet, like a small park, little park bench here. Um, let's drive forward. <laughs> Maria C says, should be called Play GeoGuessr in Hungary. <laughs> yeah, it should be. Samuel says, gotta leave because it's too late here in Spain. I discovered you today, but it's been a good time. Thanks for playing, Samuel. It's good to have you here. Um, let's see. So we have, once again, Bob the Canadian has not studied his alphabets. I need to study my alphabets. Um, the other thing that was recommended is to learn all of your um like popular beer brands around the world that can make playing GeoGuessr a little easier. Um, although beer is heavily exported. So this is kind of like a play area for kids. We call this like an inflatable slide. Like this is something that they blow up with air and then there's little, um, little pretend vehicles there. I don't know if there was a fair in town. Um, Val Val saying Ukraine, hundred percent. Um, not Turkey. Isaac saying Cyrillic, Russia. Isaac, Ukraine, a Slavic country says mowed eggs. This is why they said you should memorize your beers, right? Because if you know the different beers of the different countries, <laughs> Val Val says Ukraine, one thousand percent. Should we guess Ukraine? I'm gonna drive down this street. And uh, you guys let me know if I should guess Ukraine. Um, Gamer says it's Iraq. Yeah, it's definitely not Iraq. So I don't know who Gamer is, but uh, definitely not Iraq. It is a cute little town though. 
Um, like a little pub on the corner there. I'll guess Ukraine in a moment. I just want to have a little bit of a look around yet. See if there's anything else to see. Oh, I can't go down the street. Okay, let's guess Ukraine and uh, see how we do. There we go. Whew. Streak of 16. By the way, if you're wondering what Canada looks like, this is what most of Canada looks like, but this, I don't think this is Canada. I say that because we don't have little mile marker things like that on the side of the road. That's pretty rare for us. Now, let me check something for a minute, everybody. Okay, everything's working good. Let me get back to the game. Yeah, we don't have these little kind of posts. We use something different. I just go by a street sign really fast. I think I did. Okay, so we have a little bridge here. There's probably a little stream or um, something underneath. Definitely not the U.S., says Brent. Kids would hurt themselves on the playground. Um, <laughs> Modag says, if I want to break the streak, I have to teach less English. Yeah, I, I have to stop looking around while I'm playing. Uh, Gamer says this is Spain. But, you know, I have a feeling, Gamer, that you can't be trusted. I'm not sure. Um... We have a field here probably of winter wheat and another field on this side. I say winter wheat because it looks like early spring and in the distance this field is dirt and it's going to be planted. So this is probably a crop that was planted in the fall. Uh, hello Hussein, thank you for becoming a new subscriber. Uh, and I have Daniel is a new subscriber too. I didn't know I had something that made that sound. All of a sudden, I'm getting a whole bunch of new subscribers. Um, okay, so they're driving on the left side. That's one sign. Oh, unless that guy was passing. He was passing. That's what was happening. That's tricky. I thought he was driving on the left, but he's driving on the right. Now, let's see here. Car car on a trailer now oh, here we have some signs this might help us a bit get a little closer is bunk you can go that way if you want to sleep and it's in meters so and wc if you need to use a bathroom Yeah, Mahmoud says there's no Arabian countries in this game. I have to look at the list, Mahmoud. We always seem to be uh, somewhere in Europe or Central Europe, Southeast Asia, North America or South America. Let's see. I'm just going to drive for a bit. We're going to have to guess eventually. Um... <laughs> Mode eggs and Brent are talking about metric versus <laughs> imperial. Yeah. You know, it's weird to be Canadian because we use both systems. We have to learn metric because that's the official system of measurement. But then because our largest trading partner is the United States and Britain, our trading partners, we have to learn imperial as well. So for me, if you say it's 20 degrees Celsius or 70, some 71 degrees Fahrenheit. Like we have to learn everything. I drive my van, the speed limit's 80 to 100 kilometers an hour. So I drive 50 to 60 miles an hour. So, okay. So, or isn't better. I don't know what that means. But if we drive right 1.4 kilometers, we can get food, we can get lodging, and we can park. <laughs> Are we gonna guess? Are we gonna guess hungry? Maria C says, "Let's go with hungry as usual." Oh, I I would laugh if this was hungry. That would be would that be the 
third or fourth time. So this is a weight limit sign. If your truck is heavier than 7.5 tons, you can't drive on this road. Um, I don't think it's Netherlands. I don't think it's the Netherlands because we have accents on our letters. Um, Estonia is one guess. There's a tourist menu. The tour bus, tourists are a tour boat. Oh, what's this sign? Okay, give me some guesses. <laughs> Mahmoud says 100% Hungary. Hungary? Let's just guess Hungary because it's, it's coming up on an hour. Let's just guess. If we're wrong, we're... <laughs> um, should, I, should I retitle the video Geo Guesser Hungary Edition? Maybe that's what we should call it. Okay. I... I think we should do this last one quick. And if we get it wrong, we get it wrong. I feel like we're somewhere. Are these olive trees? I don't know what olive trees look like. But. Anyways, yes, I think we guessed this could be Italy, right? I think the, the Google camera's broken on this one. Juman says, why do you play this? Well, the idea, Juman, is that I teach you some English while you're watching. I, I do do that. Um, Maria says you should retitle it. Yes. I do teach a little bit of English. Like, these are fence posts. These fence posts need to be replaced. And this is probably barbed wire. Barbed wire is the kind of wire with points on it. Um, but sometimes... Juman, I actually forget to teach English. I get so wrapped up in the game. But I do talk the entire time. And I try to talk clearly. I try to speak very, very clearly. Uh, and I try... I don't think I've ever seen a road in Canada this narrow. This just would not work for us. I thought there was a person walking there. Um, Brent says we should just guess hungry. Yeah, I think we should guess Italy. I feel like we're in the mountains of Italy and there's olive trees growing everywhere. Or, of course, then we could be... Let's just guess Italy. I'm going to guess Italy. Modag says you use the Netherlands instead of the H word. Yes, and Tomek isn't even here tonight. So uh, I'm going to guess. I'm going to guess we're in Italy. <laughs> So out of our 18, I'm going to claim two were me. I guessed based on dirt on one of them. Uh, and I guessed based on what I thought were olive trees. And I just assumed it was Italy. So, okay, we got 18. <laughs> Here we go. I think we've finally gone to a different part of the world. Like I'm going to say we are probably somewhere around here. Okay, that's going to be my guess. And uh, I was glad that we weren't in Hungary last time, for sure. These are probably cisterns of water. So a cistern is a large concrete uh, thing underground that people store water in. Like we have a large cistern underneath our garage, actually. Um, we're definitely somewhere where there's, I think, banana trees. I see Unsel saying banana tree. Um... Can I just ask for those of you that have been here for the full hour, have we just been getting them right the whole night? Have we, we haven't gotten anything wrong yet, have we? Oh, there's time for everything. Okay. Well, here is a little shop on the side of the road. And not exactly sure what you can buy here. But uh, maybe you can just get food or something like that. I don't think we're in South America. I, I think we are somewhere in Southeast Asia for some reason. Like I'm getting a feeling that here, I, I think we're, I think we're somewhere here, like in this area of the world. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but like Cyrus is saying Thailand, 
Valval is saying Malaysia. Like, I think you guys are on the right track. Oh, this looks a lot like Oscar, but <laughs> we're not in Canada. By the way, nothing in Canada looks like this. This is uh, definitely not Canada. Um, we're just not really near a city, right? To, to get a good look. Maybe we're coming up on one. Okay. Everyone put something in the chat to guess. Um, here's your hint. This doesn't help me, but it might help you. And let me make the map a bit bigger. I think we should guess that we're in Laos. Maria C says Oscar is lost. Carlos says this place looks close to the ocean. Val Val says Malaysia. Look for a sign, says Jamie. Yeah. I would look for a sign, but I kind of feel like we should wrap this up. I see more people saying Thailand. So I see Jamie saying Thailand. Mahmood says Thailand. Chewy says Thailand. Let's guess Thailand. Oh, we got it right. We got 19. <laughs> Sorry, that, that just cracked me up. Do you think playing this live and having people help in the chat is making this easier? We should set a timer. Um, okay, so first of all, we have a bird nest here. These are probably storks, okay? I don't know for sure. I don't know what storks look like. There's a gigantic bird's nest here, a gigantic nest. Um, I can't say for sure what we're seeing here. Is there... There's, <laughs> this is... There's a lady out for a walk. He's like, what is this van doing taking a picture of me? We have a bus stop right here. I'm going to guess Hungary. Okay, because it's 8.05 and it's time to be done. So I'm going to guess Hungary because that's been our best guess all night. And I'm going to click it. I'm not even going to wait for you guys to tell me in the chat what to do. Oh, I got it wrong. <laughs> look, look how close we were though. Like, seriously, if we had more time, um, I probably could have, we probably could have gotten that one. We probably totally could have gotten that one. So uh, anyways, let me, uh, let me wrap this up, folks. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, let me just check something for a sec before I finish this stream. Yeah, we were, um, we were pretty close. I think this is a, a testament to the fact that uh, you guys are quite helpful. This is very fun for me still. Um, I will continue to, uh, to play on Sunday night. So I will see you next week. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. 87 of you, that's pretty fun. Um, and I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope you have a good weekend, whatever's left of it. For some of you, it's almost Monday morning. For some of you, you're up super late, but have a good night. Thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, and I'll